Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing. Now, in today's video, we are going to upgrade what I consider to be the most versatile rack that you can DIY at home and build over time. Now, with this, this is taking inspiration from the repair of my bull snake rack where the um, full tape would not stick to the plastic so instead what we did is we riveted corrugated plastic the same material that they make political signs out of in place over the top of the heat tape and this will ultimately prevent the heat tape from being damaged and crumpled up but also prevent it from wearing from having the tub slide over it multiple times over the lifetime and possibly shorting out in the future so as a quality upgrade as well as a safety upgrade we are going to upgrade this rack and we are going to do so by taking and putting corrugated plastic over the entire shelf we're going to leave the heat tape as it is we're going to leave the full tape in place just because that's going to hold our heat tape in place and we're going to use zip ties as well as flush cutters to cut off the zip ties and an exacto knife to punch the holes for the zip ties to go through all right, let's do some math, figure out the size of this, the sheets that need to be cut, get everything in place, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, to proceed with this in the most efficient manner possible, uh, Lowe's has sheets of corrugated plastic that are available in a 30 inch by 36 inch uh, rectangle and we at least with the rack that or the shelves that i use use a 17 and a half by 47 inch internal size so to most effectively fill the space properly as well as use the least amount of plastic sheets there are two ways to cut these sheets so again we have a 17 and a half inch by 47 inch space that we need to fill by cutting this sheet this direction and cutting the 36 inches in half we have 18 inches which is then used to fill this and go over 30 inches and then we cut this other half of the board in half again which gives us another 15 inches to go across leaving only a two inch gap or an inch gap on each side which you never use anyway the other option for cutting is to just cut the sheets in half which will cover 36 inches across leaving 10 inches or 11 inches not being covered which would then require partial cut of this sheet and then you would then still not be covering two and a half inches front to back which you do use because you slide the tubs in and out across that so it is my opinion which we all have opinions here that this is the most efficient method it may use a few more sheets of plastic but will overall give you better coverage and support what you are wanting to do best at least in my case this is the way I feel now it will also have the least amount of waste because you're only cutting out a one inch strip out of this and that's it whereas with this you are slowly but surely incrementally taking out more and more and more 
of this until you have just a large piece of sheet left over. All right, let's get this cut up and into place and I'll show you how we secure it. Now that we have the sheets cut for the rack, I should mention that this took seven sheets to complete, and those sheets from Lowe's cost $10.48 a piece, so this is roughly an $80 upgrade depending on your taxes in your area. When I was initially talking about these sheets and um, measurements to make sure that it fit, I mentioned that front to back there was an extra half inch and side to side there was an extra two inches if I remember correctly. Now with that, instead of taking and cutting off the half inch, I'm leaving it just hanging over the back of the, the rack and for the side to side that shrinkage that's missing is actually sitting just inside of the post and their welding for the for the shelves themselves so it fits perfectly. Now that we've cut all of our panels it's time to secure them and to do so as you can see for each panel there is a zip tie in the front and a zip tie in the center and the front zip tie prevents the the panel from moving left to right the center zip tie prevents it from moving front to back. This is one heck of an upgrade. So this rack is now completely and totally protected for the future. I never have to worry about the tubs rubbing a short into the heat tape. So this is awesome. Now, is this a necessary upgrade to the rack? My honest answer is eventually yes. Uh, is it necessary from day one? Honestly, no. But I love this. It's awesome. It took me two days to get this done. It is extremely tedious to do it and secure it well. Uh, next time, because I have another rack to do this, or two racks to do this on, I'm probably going to figure out a different way to do this because this was just too much. It took too long. It's beautiful. It works well but it took too long. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what we've done, please remember to subscribe. And also consider checking out either the playlist or the video that is shown on the screen. Have a great day. Bye.